the Steel Ranger, Will Shoehart. And with the power of the Tyrannosaurus, the Red Dino Charge Ranger, We've got a good friend of the show for us, Durrani, and he's doing from Power Rangers! Wait, we have one more special guest! There's another special, another Red Ranger? You can say that! The original Red Ranger himself, perhaps? Way back, we're talking, we're talking super, super important. This guy may be the most powerful Ranger of all. Yeah! Santa, you go first. <laughs> so how many of you people know about Krampus? Oh, yeah. I do. All right. He's so, the one that I want on the list. <laughs> so if you're bad, Krampus is going to take you to make a visit instead of me. So Krampus surprised me on set one time, and he ripped my sleigh so that when I went off the fly, I actually flipped over. So he flipped the trickster. Uh, so it took quite a while to get, her, get it all fixed and, and put the magic back in the sleigh so it's, so it's worth flying. So that was probably the craziest thing that happened on set. How about you? Wow, um, we're going way back. Um, I don't know yet. If you guys have a story, I'm, I'm still thinking. I'm offering my ego. Hey? I'm offering my ego. Are you still offering Bad Wi-Fi in here. Bad Wi-Fi in here. 
Yeah, that's that's true. You're right about that. Um, well, I have a story with Santa Claus from our season. I'm sure you remember it, but uh, so you know our secret base, like under the museum in the slide, and how Santa Claus comes down the slide in one of the episodes. Santa Claus came down the slide and then slid across the floor. It was a spectacular. I don't know. Did they ever do a blooper of it? I thought it was in like yeah. outtakes. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you can watch it on YouTube and see yourself okay. slide across our It's very slippery. But uh, yeah, he just kind of went, ooh, ooh, and, like, uh, we helped him up, though. I think it was James chasing him. That was kind of fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> with your JDF story. Shuffle through my memories. Uh, the JDF story, it has a bad ending because I can never tell him what happened. That's true. Yeah. Um, There's a story with JDF that was funny that he can't tell. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was a really good prank. Um, let's see, I mean, Nico split his pants a bunch. <laughs> that, was, that was always an event, but that happened regularly. Uh, let's see. Um, how about you, man? You got any, uh... Here's the reason I'm very fun. Sorry. Hey, you want to open it? Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, you're blind at me. I am. I know. It was like, hey, we got a Red Ranger panel. I was like, oh, thanks for reminding me. And then it was 115. <laughs> Did you tell Steve so he doesn't feel left out this time? I don't tell Steve anything. <laughs> Steve tells you things. Yes. Steve talks at me. I'm sure your show is much better than that. Put on the spot. Uh, the question for you, Mike, uh, when they were coming in, what was the funniest thing that happened on set during your panel? I think one of the, the funnier things when it comes to uh, I mean, I was a kid on set, so most things that kids do are like, I mean, when you look back at your childhood, you probably think of a lot of embarrassing things that, that you've done. Um, things that, you know, you get those shower thoughts where you're like showering, you're like, oh, remember that one time when I was 11 and I said that thing? <sighs> the only difference is I had to do it in front of my idols and Power Rangers. So um, I remember uh, the more funny things on set was uh, all the little rangers were trying to convince um, the wardrobe department and casting directors to allow them to not have their shirts on in the water scenes because we thought that if you know, we, we thought that we wanted to be buff like action stars mm -hmm. so we got in this uh, we got in this sit-up competition where we all tried to like get abs overnight because that's how we let them know that work <laughs> sure. um, just, just just so that we could be shirtless in the water park scenes and uh, I think the director was Paul Schreier who plays Bulk. Um, and he was like, no, you're all wearing shirts. You know, I'm not having lobster rangers running around. <laughs> you guys are gonna get some, but it's gonna be terrible. Oh, I, so I, I had a, like that experience where I got really badly sunburned. Like I, so prior to that, never been sunburned in my life. I thought I was impervious. We go to, uh, we go kenna fishing. There's these little things in New Zealand called kenna. And, and you like dive for them, you, you get them, you crack them open on the surface, you can eat them. So we did that and we were out there for like five hours. Um, almost drowned, ended up like sleeping on a rock for like an hour, just passed out, the guys left me. So I ended up, yeah. I, I wake up and I can, I can feel all the skin on my back, which I've never, like, you know, when you're really sunburned, you can just feel everything and it's moving and, and your skin's tight. So I get to set like the next day, that whole week, every morning in makeup, they're like peeling skin off of me. It was just for the whole time. And then, and then I'm on set, and the whole week on set, we're doing like tank top stuff. We're in like this track outfit. So I, I just have scales in all of those episodes. It's disgusting. <laughs> that, that story was totally hilarious, wasn't it, guys? That was so funny. Don't you wish it happened to you? Next question. Like a snake. <laughs> never that fun. We're pretty personal. <laughs> what is your favorite Power Rangers theme song? Damn Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Time Force a lot too. Yeah, but I actually do like our Damn Treasure theme song. Like legit. I I have a couple different songs uh, on my workout playlist. Is that one? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets a pump to the gym. It does. It's very good. Oh. I was like, yeah, it's spandex. I can do this. So I can do this in the gym now. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Actually, because the song is like a minute and like one second long. So I was trying to hold a handstand for three minutes like to break that when I was in New Zealand. And so Yoshi was there, and we put the Dino Charge theme song on repeat. And I had to get through the song three times because it was like about three minutes. And I did it, and it was like, that's what cemented it as a workout song for me. Round of applause for that. Come on. Yeah. Hey, hey. I need some. Go. 
I, I think my favorite one is the Zeo thing. Um, I like I like when they shifted from Mighty Morphin over to Zeo and everything got like super epic with that theme song. It was like, oh! It was like, jeez. We're, we're, we're in church now. So, cool, let's do it. First church of the Lord on. In space. Oh, it's absolutely in space. That's the best one there was. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's easy. What are you talking about? This is what's wrong. This is what's wrong. Cute. Yeah, man. Santa? Big looking Santa. Jingle bells? No, it's a. Go, go, Santa Claus. Nice. Go, go, Santa Claus. I'm I'm a Dr. Dre fan, so. That's my favorite theme song. Um, Probably Mystic Force. I mean, I I like that song. It was was catchy. Don't get the mood. Don't don't get charged up. Yeah. Hi, 
Okay, um, my question is, um, what's the best uh, take from being the Red Ranger, like uh, motivational, inspirational wise? Hmm. Like what it taught us, or like you mean? Like, like what it taught you and what it taught all of the fans? Start us off, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I always think that, yeah, the Red, Red Ranger always said to save the day, it's so sad, but so can you. So that's the, the best take of I think uh, that, I didn't interrupt anybody, did I? Yeah, you totally did. Well done. Well, that actually leads into, yeah, that actually leads into exactly what I was going to say, which is being an assertive leader. Are you um, so assertive? Or a push. I mean, both, both are great qualities in an energy of Red Ranger. Oh, what up, Red Ranger? 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 Anybody else want to answer the question? What motivates you to be the Red Ranger? Or ask the Red Ranger? Well, I, I, I know you have an answer. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. The best thing about being the Red or like what you take from it uh, in terms of inspiration, motivation, I think you actually get really inspired by the people you end up meeting. So when you go into it, you know that they want you to portray this sort of leadership, assertive, always stand in the middle, uh, you know, lead all the call outs kind of role. But later on, you find out from meeting kids through Make-A-Wish, from meeting kids who have been impacted from it, um, when people tell you that that's how they cope with depression from watching Power Rangers, and you see the impact it has on people, I think one of the best things you take from it is just empathy and understanding. Yeah. So that's, that's been like a huge thing for me because it's tough to understand the mindset of someone who's going through that stuff. And this show is what helps them with that. So yeah, just understanding and listening. So not... Not leadership in this case. <laughs> yeah, just just listening. Um I do want to say that um I think that if there was there was one thing that I walked away from the show with after being a Red Ranger was that um <clears throat> that no matter what, there was one person that you could always count on. No matter how you know how, how dark it got, you know the worst of the times. You know the universe is on the line. You know the world's on the line. Whatever and all that. There was one person you could always count on, and that's Andros. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Humility. <laughs> Humility is the biggest thing I learned from uh, my mentors. Those rangers who came before me. I look up to you. Will was it Will? Yeah, Will Will was trying to say that you know we 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 play leaders and you know we're, we're actors, we're performers, but at, at the end of the day we, we go through the same insecurities and demons as you got. And we have the same fears and you know, and we, we we're faced with the same challenges. So we're on the same plane, but we just gotta kinda lean into the chaos sometimes. Sometimes you gotta show up and lean into it and go, okay, how do we how do we get by without, you know, completely losing our minds? You know? So it's all good. We all go through bad days, but in the end you just gotta find a way to kind of push through. What he's saying is you guys got all got Red Rangers in you. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> That was one time and I was drunk. Oh, I just went so long. Here's a Red Ranger right here. You want to see him here? A little bit of blue, but. I think he's super good. It's red blue, right? Yeah. Likewise, likewise. Tom Holland, right? Or are you Andrew? I'll take you first. Okay, cool. Go on. DC Comics, Superman, um, but if we're going like anime, Gohan, Teen Gohan versus Cell. Um, that counts, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, because like he didn't want to 
want to fight, but he, it was like he had to do it. And that's what I like, because like a lot of heroes in anime anyway, like they just, like Goku loves fighting. You know, he just does it. He doesn't even care sometimes if the world blows up as long as he gets to fight. But uh, Gohan is like, I have to do this to save people I love. So that's a reason to fight versus just like, I want to prove I'm stronger. Good answer. Favorite superhero. Um, I love Thanks. It. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, uh, yeah. see that wasn't going yeah. on. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I really appreciate that. You want me to sign your helmet later? Thanks. You will be. Favorite superhero, I would say um, comic book Thor. I think is amazing. Yeah, he's just like ridiculously overpowered, but yeah, it's like him, Silver Surfer, a few of them, but comic book Thor for sure. Yeah, movie Thor is ridiculously overweight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite superhero uh, from the X Men, the Beast. What? He's always been my favorite guy. I love the Beast. He's the brains. He's the bronze. He's the most agile dude there is. He can do anything. I love him. So yeah, and also he's my favorite bad guy too because from the Age of Apocalypse. Um, the Dark Beast is just the most maniacal. Oh, he was horrible. He was so evil. And I love him. So, yeah, he's my favorite good guy and my favorite bad guy. Uh, if you guys follow me on like various social medias, you guys know just from Halloween who my favorite um, superhero is. It's uh, the Immortal Iron Fist. Not a huge fan of that show, but. They're remaking it on Disney Plus. What's that? They're recasting and remaking it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Disney Plus, give me a call, man. Um, <laughs> Um, but I always, I always loved how uh, he was a very street level um, type of superhero. He wasn't, he didn't have a lot going for him except for his martial arts training. And as a kid, growing up in the martial arts, it's literally all I did. Um, so to see him actually like get superpowers through training martial arts, um, it's just really inspiring. I actually have this like superstar poster from school that we made. It was like a big drawing on it. It's, Really ridiculous. You can have Johnny Young Bosch sign it. He voiced him in the last uh, Barbell Ultimate Alliance game. How he wasn't. Much, how much does his autograph cost? I don't know. You guys know what? Did he get a Ranger discount? Has anybody heard Johnny? 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Yeah, yeah. No, if like, we all pitch in. Go on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> in a group picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Red Rangers and Johnny. And Johnny. Yeah. yeah. He's an honorary Red, for sure. Yeah. Honorary. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say uh, my old man. I'm gonna have to say my father. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, pops. Took the high road myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. My dad. Yeah, yeah. He sacrificed it all. Well, I'm probably gonna have to go with Thor also. So, <laughs> most people don't. <laughs> Man, got your back. Most people don't realize that uh, Odin and Santa have some similarities. And Odin rides through the sky in a sleigh, pulled by some white horses, and also celebrates you know, the, the oncoming of uh, the winter season and holidays. So, there's a lot of similarities between us. So, we, we get confused a lot of times. They so both have beards. Yeah, they both have great beards. Amazing beards. He's yeah. got an eye patch, but I don't. Yeah. So, it'd have to be both. This has got to be Superman for me. I just yeah. love Superman. He might even fly. I mean, that's, that's my dream. I want to fly. Fly me, Santa. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's good. Spider-Man is really cool, too. Spider-Man's awesome. Say the Mark Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man's cool. Nobody loves him. Yeah. What kind of music do we listen to? What kind of music do we listen to? What kind of music do we listen to? Oh, what kind of music? I, I didn't realize I was first, I'm sorry. You're a um, I, uh, it's, I, I listen to all different types of music. It really just kind of depends on the mood you're in, right? Because music is designed to reflect how you're feeling at any given moment. So, you know, if you're going, if you're going to, you know, the the store, you're gonna to listen to a different song than, you know, obviously if you're going to the gym, you listen to Dino Thunder Speed. So Dino Charge! Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you for that! Oh, well, you're watching the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but I've heard a theme song too, though, so I forget. 
Uh, but I've been, I, it, as far as like music that I would listen to casually, like if I'm working or whatever, I, I like uh, blues and lately I've gotten into uh, more country style of blues than the jazz style of blues. Good answer. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of the blues. Uh, John Lee Hooker is one of my favorite singers. Oh, God. Woo! John Lee Hooker, he's best. But also, um, I really love 80s uh, rock, pop, that kind of stuff. I grew up like the I was the biggest Prince fan in the world. Uh, he could do no wrong. He could do no wrong. I loved him. He was the best. So it's the blues and Prince apparently. <laughs> Purple and blues. I love Prince. Um, I was a huge MJ fan. So on the other side of that, I was a huge MJ fan. Love listening to funk. I listen to a lot of jazz. Uh, I've been on this huge reggaeton Latin trap kick for a long time now, so I love that music too. Um, I listen to a lot of Sinatra, Sinatra too, Sinatra. Sinatra! Sinatra! Sinatra. <laughs> Sinatra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like? Attack! Attack! Perpendicular. Yeah, so I listen to that, big bands, um, a lot of different stuff. And rap. And rap. Yes. Yes. Tupac, baby, Tupac and cool, Cole, man. Yes. Tupac, Biggie. I mean, I love that jazz. I love, I love all. I miss, you know, um, what else? Man, I listen to everything. You know, um, but Tupac was my boy growing up. I love, I love this stuff, man, because he just, you know, he was spitting from the, from the gut, from the heart. So, big Tupac fan. I guess I'm not going this time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go anyway. It's fine. <laughs> We know it's Dino Thunder. Uh, I like a lot of classic rock, like Eagles, Styx, Journey. My dad played a lot of that. Yeah. Um, some country like Shania Twain. Um, oh yeah. You know, like eclectic mix. I like uh, Toby Mac, DC Talk. Oh yeah. Queen. Yeah, yeah, and I, I like anime music too because I'm trying to get into voiceover acting. Uh, like Johnny and Bosch, like a lot of anime stuff. So I grew up like inspired by like Dragon Ball Z and Inuyasha and things like that. But uh, yeah, so different. I don't know like the band's names, but like the, the theme songs of like My Hero Academia and things like that. that Go Sam. What Christmas song I like? No, actually, I like world music because you know I fly all over the world in a single night. And uh, I get to listen to music from every country, and I really, really enjoy the diversity of the music and the cultural beats. It's really great. great. So, if you get a chance, to into some more music. How do you feel about Christmas songs? Uh, right. I hear them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My Spotify library. <laughs> Best of Avril Lavigne. Whitney Houston dance song, <laughs> U.S. summer hits of the 90s, classic yeah. dance, 90s remixes, uh, yeah, let's see here, winter sounds, <laughs> <laughs> Celine Dion Christmas album, <laughs> <laughs> island music, Cafe Con Leche, uh, wild country, and tropical mixes. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great question. Well done, Patrick. What? That was hard, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Reading that off. It's going to go to what he felt. Hey, at least I got the Wi-Fi to work. What is the strangest piece of merchandise you found yourself on? I was I wasn't on merch. I would like to be on the version of Steve, so it was all his stuff. So I, if you guys are looking for something way really cool, that's probably not me. Oh, they did make they did make uh, cool oh. premium oh. stuff. Uh, <laughs> three ninjas would be I, there. I found a guy um, in uh, the Latin wrestling circuit who actually has a luchador mask of Colt, who's it's Colt's mask. And I know that's like not my face, but I thought that that was just really cool. So I wanted to say it out loud, apparently. <laughs> um, you know, for me, it wasn't, I don't, it wasn't actually my character. It was um, from Mega Ranger. So it was Kim Date, the, uh, the red uh, Mega Ranger. But uh, yeah, it's Tidy Whitey's. <laughs> right in the front. Yeah, right in the front. In the front? 
I mean, I'm trying to think besides Ranger stuff. Uh, headphones? Yeah, a set of headphones that I go to Best Buy and I look myself on them. <laughs> yeah, nothing really besides Ranger stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, someone posted a picture of my helmet on their leg, it's a tattoo. I mean, that's not merchandise, but they paid for it. Uh, aside from that, like, like the dental floss cleaning tube thing, and on toothbrushes, you can find them and charge toothbrushes. Yeah. That's really the model. I got a, I got a great foot sad with you on it the other day. <laughs> it's not merchandise. Okay, let's be honest. What am I not on? Come on. I'm a picture of a lot of the Norris. But your prime most famous for me was Coca Cola. So, yeah. Oh, what was Cycle Red on A? Still still coming out. Um, uh, I don't look know, on your phone, Patrick. Just what? look it up on your phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's on my phone. Google your site. I have a picture, a poster of Patrick in my room. Is that weird? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 All the rangers, and I guess slightly different question for the psycho red. So, uh, if there was like another like forever red kind of uh, crossover movie, I guess what kind of show? Uh, 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 that's probably added a, a handful of like other ones like Time Force, Lost Galaxy, RTM, like some like the fantasy time travel. Uh, what kind of show would you would, uh, um, would you like it to be? Uh, and uh, if, uh, uh, and with the psycho uh, with the psycho red, like what kind of voting group would you have in there? Santa, you got this one back. Oh no 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 no! You guys go. Oh my gosh, guys, stop! All right, I will take this question. Who else? Uh, I'd like us to team up with like our Sentai counterparts. I think that'd be a cool yeah, threat red. Because yeah, then it'd really be like the Shattered Grid, like dimensions, but like tapping the Japanese side of it. Yeah. And then we'd yeah. fight their versions of their villains, teaming up with our versions of our villains. Yeah, our villains. Thanks, guys. Make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, here it is, all right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Clutch. Of course, there will be a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> it, the battle would take place at the North Pole, honestly. So. There you go. That's the best answer. Let's look at the size. All these Christmas specials. Favorite color besides red? Are we talking? Are we uh, asking ranger colors or just colors in just general? Just blue colors blue in general. I like I like blue. Um, I like red and blue. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite color is gray. <laughs> I'm not joking. It is. Gray. It's gray. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How does gray sound like red? <laughs> 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 I interrupted somebody earlier. It's a big deal. <laughs> Sky blue. I like Same. That. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Like aquas. Yeah. Just yeah. Like my dad. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, they I are like good. Green, man. red. I like black. Suited colors. Purple. 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 Sky blue. See, that's why we're related. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I only see two rangers up here who have had battleizers. <laughs> so, 
So that's great. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Brennan and Will, what would your ideal battleizers look like for your rangers? Hmm. I'm cool with mine because, like, in the Japanese version, it's called Carnival Mode, and since I'm a circus performer, like, it already fits. So I feel like a mini Megazord because, like, I switch out pieces of my other rangers' like weapons. So I'm I'm good. As it is, I will leave it. I want to say yeah. that when I yeah. enter Carnival yeah. Mode. Yeah. Carnival Mode, yeah. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Juggling! Attack! Battleizer, yeah. Uh, I'm, you know, we had the Lionfire one. I would really like something that's like dragon themed. I think that would be yeah. cool. Well, to be honest, I meant because I know the Battleizers were original US exclusive, so yeah. stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Dragon themed. Yeah, yeah, dragon themed. Yeah, I love dragons. That would be yeah. cool. Good question. Good question. Red Dragon Fire Ranger. Did I? Yeah. Red Dragon Fire Ranger. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a really good one. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, so, as an actor, uh, some people in here are big fans. Some of their dream roles like, would be to play Power Ranger. But my question as an actor to all you guys, since you guys have already lived the dream of playing Power Rangers, what is your other dream role? Other dream oh, okay. Yes. I will fight you. I'm just kidding. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, I, we kind of alluded to that earlier. Apparently, Iron Fist is casting again, so. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? So next time we we'll make it happen. Can we make this happen, yeah. please? You got my <laughs> I've always wanted to play Dracula. I've always felt like that would be a really cool role, so that's that's a dream one, yeah. Hi, Cassie. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Where are you from? Where are you from? Darth Vader for me. Ooh. 100% Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could change Earl Jones' voice, but you know, it's cool. A dream role would probably, <laughs> probably be like, um, it's, a hard one. it's a tough question. William Wallace. Nice. Oh, That'd be a dream role. Good one. It's gotta be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Something in the Star Wars, uh, you know, uh, Star Wars movies. And um, I actually worked with Mark Hamill before, and I felt so stupid. I didn't even ask him anything Star Wars related for like a month that I worked there. It was called Walking Dead Secret. It was a um, Hallmark film. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. 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 One or two more. If yeah, if anybody else has a question, you can hop online. If you feel like it. Yeah, yeah. Once we got some up here. Question away. We're like, no, I'm good. <laughs> or you can ask three questions. I'm just kidding. Something uh, with a ranger on it. Uh, that like a fidget spinner. That's a fidget spinner with the red ninja steel ranger on it. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be like, ninja but, um, spin. <laughs> and keep spinning. <laughs> So my question is, with Boom Studios that has done, you know, Justice League as a team up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and um, now we're getting, you know, Ninja Turtles as a team up, even though um, Christopher King Lee teamed up with the Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers in space. Yeah, we did that already. Yeah. <laughs> so, I took right, care of it for y'all. <laughs> what superhero team up besides Power Rangers would you like? to see happen in a Boom Studio comic. Like Power Rangers plus Power Rangers team? That's yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. The X-Men. Power Rangers well, and the X-Men. Power Rangers and the X-Men. I would, I would love to see what the Power Rangers were doing during that whole battle of New York in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. like, where were they? What was going on? Who were they saving? How was that? That's, yeah. that's what so I want. Power Rangers and Avengers? Yeah, Power Rangers and Avengers. Is a Star Wars Power Rangers crossover possible? Why not? Oh, that, that would be so cool. Well, I'm going to be Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 Alright, Brennan, what about you? Yeah, I mean, I think Power Rangers would be cool. Um, 
Hey, that's your shirt. <laughs> I did it again, y'all. Just keep saving it. <laughs> 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 I mean, it wouldn't really fit because, like, they're way. You just told me that was possible. Oh, I was finishing a different sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I was going, well, it's not all about you, man. I thought it was going to say that it doesn't really fit, but, like, Dragon Ball Z and Power Rangers, they're, like, way stronger than us. So I feel like it might be that good of a team. Unless they're, like, like, talking when Goku was, like, a kid, maybe. But, uh, I don't know. Let's yeah. take out Freeze of the Trolls. Yeah, we could. We could do that. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Morph with the great Saiyan man. True. Uh, Thoughts. Uh, what about you? Uh, like a crossover? Yeah. Uh, Scooby-Doo. Uh, Scooby crossover. Uh, Maybe like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Dead, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool. Yeah. 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 About the Power Rangers versus Santa's Psycho Elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, what is it, the psychopath? They have a little cliffhanger. We don't know where, where we came from. And it's kind of drifting off into space. So maybe we did come from the North Pole. <laughs> Actually, no, I want us to team, like, since Hasbro owns Power Rangers and they own Transformers, yeah, I think that's that would be a connection. Oh, okay. cool. yeah. Like, Bumblebee and, like, Dynamics. Sounds like yeah. yeah, they're already working with the set. I ship it. We know. <laughs> we can do three ninjas and power rangers. I want to see a cool ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Power rangers and Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Yeah. 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 Monopoly. Yeah. Monopoly. Monopoly and Trivial Pursuit. Yeah. 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 We were saying up here, uh, Scooby Doo. Yeah. Scooby Doo crossover? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's cute. I love Scooby yeah. Doo. Supernatural. Supernatural. Yeah, they're getting up supernatural. What would, who asked the question? Did you ask the question? What would be, oh. What would be your answer? What would your choice be? It's gone. It's gone. All right. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Nate, you gotta stand up. All right. Now you see how hard it is to answer these questions. Yeah. I got myself. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. All eyes on you. Come on, Nate. Spit it out. How do you just team up with Sailor Moon? Power Rangers teaming up with like Richard Pryor or something. Yeah. You're on his side. I want to watch that. But Eddie Murphy is on. Finally, it becomes funny. Power Rangers and Shrek. Also, that's true. Or Terminator. <laughs> yeah, <it's terminated. laughs> the good thing is the bad thing. I'm not a good thing. Yeah, that's not yeah, a good thing. Thing. Yeah, I don't get that. Right. Yeah, that's okay. Um, other than more female Red Ranger, what else would you like to see from the Red Ranger going forward? Like Storylines, personality. I want to see a female Red Ranger. <laughs> well, like start as a leader. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, kinda. yeah, so like start as a leader and get. Stay red. Stay red. Might be like the whole time. <laughs> it's not like special that she's red. Yeah. She's red. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. 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 More female representation. Yeah. That was not a song. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think it was most most memorable. Most memorable. Most memorable. Most memorable. Twenty years ago, man, I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Billy 
already have like 45 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> 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 so I knew he said, I'm going to get lunch. And what about Santa? I mean, he's like thousands of years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, uh, um, if you watched Catherine's story, we went karaoke last night, um, but the fun story about the song that's, that's on that story is that I actually um, took my wife out on our first date to um, a defunct karaoke bar now in, uh, in Los Angeles called Dimples, and I uh, pretended I was singing a very romantic song, and then um, Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot stars, <laughs> and uh, I'd say that's, that's my favorite moment because I think that's when I convinced her that I was uh, a lovable human. <laughs> it's so not true. <laughs> you convinced her. That's what y'all heard him say. That yeah. convinced her. It means he tricked her. Means he's a good idea. <laughs> we already established I'm woke. You can't use that. <laughs> Anyone else? I hope so. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool moment. I'm not gonna be like as in depth, like. Uh, emotional, but like last Ranger stop, uh, I booked a guest star role on Supergirl, and I literally had to fly straight from Ranger stop to Canada, and from being very hot to not having stuff for the cold, that was kind of that was cool. It was like a cool, and then everyone was like, "Wow, Rangers really felt my grace," and I played a drug dealer on Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, you know, money's tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got time for one more. Uh, what's your most memorable fan interaction experience? Something that touched your heart or just something fun? Touched your heart. Good one. Dude, earlier today the Ranger fandom just paid for an entire trip to go to somebody. Yeah. For somebody to go to yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's thousand like, dollars. It was like it was like two hours ago, but yeah. I think I'm gonna remember that for the rest of her life. Like everybody just kind of chipped in and made sure that she was able to go to PMC in Los Angeles. Wow. And Where is she from? I, I'm Ohio, not sure. I don't know. She, I don't she, was she was in tears, she was so happy. The, the fact that the, the fandom can come together and make somebody's dream come true is, yeah. is awesome. So I'd say that's yeah. 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 yeah, it was a beautiful moment. Patrick? 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 Oh, yeah. I got a um, uh, direct message um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, some guy said he heard I was nice. And he got the courage to message me. And he told me that um, he was in the hospital for I don't know how many, in and out of the hospital for years uh, by battling cancer. And his friend would bring a laptop and show him the cycle rangers and say that, you know, uh, aren't they strong? And, you know, this and that and that. And he said that our characters help them pushed through, um, went back and forth from cancer. And so I sent him a lot of stuff, but just reading that, I kept all, I snapshot the whole message, the whole thing, and that, that really, I'm like, really? I did all that, just, you know, I just voiced the character, I thought, but I didn't know how to impact on people, so that was really, it brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, that's pretty good story. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. I, I actually helped uh, Jake, a, a, a fan, propose to his wife. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, the first day I was here. So yeah, he he. I kind of I heard a turn around and he went on one knee and proposed. And I'll remember that forever. Yeah, yeah, two, Just, days. yeah two days ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! So that was wow. incredible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um, well, like I think it was while our season was still airing, I was asked to go to a hospital and visit the kids, and I actually got like Savon not him, obviously himself, but his company, sent me my suit to wear. So it was really cool, like I got to actually don the suit again and like walk around and meet all these kids. And then uh, just the opportunities we get as being Rangers, we don't even realize, like he was mentioning, we don't know the impact always. Like, cause again, like we're normal people, we wake up, we eat food, like we have stress and all that stuff too. And then uh, like you'll get a message from someone on Instagram, like, oh, you really inspired me with fitness or whatever it is. Like I had a couple come to me at WonderCon and they said like, I said something in an interview where someone was like, what is love to you? And I was like, oh, love is a commitment, not just a feeling. Like, that was my answer. And I was like, that literally saved our marriage. Like, and from that, like, they wrote me a letter, and like, their kid wow. signed up for a service program too. And it's like, that stuff, like, you don't know what, you, like, your impact. You guys impact people the same in your own communities too. And so just, you never realize the ripple effect that you can cause. So. That's fantastic.
You say it's a marriage. That's what they told me. <laughs> <laughs>